A few weeks ago, I did a video on swim jigs and the different types of retrieves that you could use, including letting that swim jig sit on the bottom. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Well, I actually wanted to show you the difference between the Alabama shake and then a standard, what I would call a Tom Monsoor pulsing retrieve. Now, a lot of you are familiar with the Alabama shake, but we don't always get to see it under the water. And here's why I wanted to show you, because when we work the swim jig with this shaking method, it looks from our perspective above the water that we are just overworking that lure like crazy. We hold that rod about that you know, 10 o'clock position. And then as we're bringing it back in a steady retrieve, we just bounce that rod tip like crazy. It throws slack into the line. From above the water, it looks like we're just putting all kinds of crazy action on the lure. But when you see it under the water, you quickly realize why it is so effective. Throwing in that slack into the retrieve constantly with that rod tip bouncing just creates a very mesmerizing vibration and bounce on the lure as it moves through the water. As a matter of fact, it really reminds me of a much more subtle and finesse version of a suspending jerkbait with that erratic movement to it. Now granted this is a lot smaller and a lot tighter erratic movement but you can see why it can just grab the attention of the fish and it just creates that situation where they follow it and in many instances they just can't help themselves they have to eat it. Now the other retrieve that I like to use all the time and what I wanted to show you was this pulsing retrieve very much popularized and spread by Tom Monsoor out of Wisconsin. He likes to fish it slower, often as slow as possible without letting it sink into the water column and just pulse the rod. And here's what it looks like. It's got more of a sharp nose dive and then pulls up straight. And I've used this retrieve a ton and had tremendous success with it over the years. But like in all situations when you're bass fishing, we need to mix it up and let those fish tell us what they want. Here's even a straight retrieve where I basically throw it out there and just swim it back and it still looks pretty good. So as you're using that swim jig, mix them in. Now, I was filming this with my camera in open water, but one of the things that the Alabama Shake does so well is it can come through vegetation, even some slight emergent vegetation, because you're constantly hopping it and twitching it and just pulling it or ripping it right through that stuff. So a swim jig is one of those lures that can efficiently work weeds and vegetation where maybe other methods don't do quite as well. And the more and more I watch this Alabama shake under the water, I just absolutely fall in love with it. And you can see why so many anglers use it. It's definitely something that you see and hear about more in the southern part of the country. But boy, up north, it just works. And hey, if you'd like to watch a video that talks about some very common mistakes we make with our bait casters and how it can just ruin our day of fishing, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You you never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.